Los Angeles. Ajo, ajo, Los Angeles. Ajo, ajo, Los Angeles. Ajo, ajo, Los Angeles. Ajo, ajo. How did you get here? Ajo, ajo, Los Angeles. By train, by truck, on foot, on your hands and knees. Why did your father come here? To escape Culiacán. To lay tracks on his hands and knees. Wave goodbye to Culiacán. Wave goodbye. Wave goodbye to Ajo. Everybody waves goodbye. Wave goodbye. Come aboard. We've been coming the same boat, but we sure as hell are in the same boat now. Again. Some go north, some go south, maybe east, some left out, some are rich, some are poor, but everybody's got to win. And Hector Flores is the national president of the League of the United Latin American Citizens. ¿Cómo le gusta México? Bueno, por eso debíamos de estar hablando en la, el idioma de los mexicanos. And everyone's got golden hair. They went north, they went south, maybe east. Some left out, some are rich, some are poor. Want less, someone more. We need to continue working together. As, as you can observe, this is a fight that's going to continue. We're going to have to work for these people so that they'll be able to make, become citizens in the immediate future. My cousin said, we're going to find the ones that left. Boy climbs aboard the train. I've been asked a lot of questions. One was why I began this protest. The main reason was I guess I'm glad that I had the opportunity to be raised and born in the United States. While my parents were lucky enough to get amnesty in 86 and give me and my sisters, one who just came back from Iraq about a month ago, what kind of image is America sending out when she's out there protecting us to come back for them to disrespect our families like that. My name is Michael A. Montoya. By looking at you, and I think it's a great thing that Hector's here, our national president, as well as the youth that's here showing that they have a vote in the future, that they can register and they can make a difference. community has said enough is enough. We're going to take a stand for fairness and justice and we will not back down. We will not back down. We will not back down. There should be no cause for hurry. All we want to do is be good Americans. That's all. Why do you think the young people have left and gone to the streets? They see their mothers and fathers and grandfathers and others working very, very hard every day. And now they want to make them criminals. What a shame. Shame on those extremists that would make and target our hard-working immigrants that are here helping our country. That is not the American way. That is not what we want in our country. In 1776, this country that was founded by immigrants, they made a bold pronouncement and enshrined in the Declaration of Independence that laid forth the most important principles of our nation. And they stated the following. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by the Creator with certain inalienable rights, that among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Brothers and sisters, Hermanos y hermanas, these words are as true today 
es de Cornell. We're all created equal. Somos iguales. And ladies and gentlemen, in the end, it is not these actions that will hurt us. Rather, it is the inaction of the deafening silence of those who call our, themselves our friends and do not stand with us in a march like here today. We will not back down. We will not back down.